Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we're taking a look at a Golem Prince beatdown deck, because of course the Prince was buffed in the December update, it is now a very strong support card used in a bunch of different beatdown decks. Now I'm not too sure who invented this strategy, but I found it earlier on today, and I wanted to share it with you. Now if you don't have the Infernal Dragon, go ahead and use a Mega Minion or Minions instead. If you don't have the Night Witch, you have a bit more flexibility in that spot, you can use a Pump if you want more of a traditional beatdown deck, or you can use basically anything you want to, maybe an Ice Brute for faster cycling, maybe um, a Mini Packet or a Lumberjack. We're going to go ahead here, just jump into our first battle and see how we can do today. So, first and foremost guys, at the end of the video, I will show you my draft chest opening from earlier on today. And I also have a special announcement for you guys, not really an announcement, but just kind of like a special thing for New Year's at the end of the video coming as well. We're going to go ahead and poison that Spear Goblin Hut as well as the um, Tower. And the other thing I do want to say is I want to quickly apologize to you guys for not posting a video yesterday on my end of season trophy push. Um, I made two major mistakes last night. First and foremost was waiting for the end of season before pushing, like waiting literally for the last hour. I got into my office yesterday with 40 minutes left in the season before, uh, before being able to push. So that's mistake number one. And mistake number two... We're going to go uh, golem right here. Mistake number two, guys, was waiting till after the New Year's celebration before beginning to push. So those two things just didn't really mix too well. And I ended up dropping like a million trophies in the final 40 minutes because I was rushing and uh, I just, it was not good. <laughs> so uh, let's go. Mm. Let's go Prince here for the bowler. And we'll get a zap, maybe a baby dragon ready for anything. Baby dragon here. Nato there, okay. It'll kill the Lumberjack Jack first, and then Bowler might die as well here. Prince, kill the Bowler, please. Kill the Bowler, please, Prince. Baby Dragon versus Baby Dragon. Prince charging the tower. Oh, so close, baby. So close, but not enough. The Baby Dragon might get one splash in that tower, but maybe not with the arch coming in there. He might die. Okay, we're going to go... One burp. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. I can accept that. What do you got here now, sir? Mr. Empire? We're going to go some guards for your archers here and protect our Night Witch. Save her. Save her some health. So one more bull coming down, he probably has something in his deck. I'm guessing Splash Yard, Graveyard coming soon. So we gotta keep the Poison Spell for his, uh, for his Graveyard. Because that's our only kind of good counter for the Graveyard in there. I don't know if he'll do it right now because we got the, uh, okay, let's go Poison here. I know I just said save it, but we're gonna kill the Buller anyway, so he's dead. Nice. Let's get a Golem going on right here. We still have the Night Witch just to kill stuff anyway, so maybe he's not Splash Yard. He's got Lumberjack in there. I just saw a Bowler and Nato, so I was kind of, maybe Splash Yard, but I could be wrong, boys. So I'm going to kill that Lumberjack with the Night Witch there. And I'm going to get Infernal Dragon here, spawning out some stuff, please. Baby D here. Infernal here. And we're going to poison the Archers as well as that Bowler there. So the Nato all together. The Nato won't hit the, uh, the Dragons, though, which we're definitely okay with right there. That Dragon's dead. His bullet's gonna die here soon. Get in there, Prince. Nice. Kill the spear gobs. Get the tower. Thank you. And we're actually gonna flood him. Prince, to the tower, please. Yes, baby. There we go. Getting some damage done with that Prince, guys. Prince is nasty. Now, we're not too sure what his win condition is yet. It could have been Graveyard. What was it, guys? I don't think he used a win condition once in that battle. And he's very angry, my friend. I wish there was like a pat on the back emote for our angry friend up there, but, uh,. Uh, good game, sir. Thank you. So here we are. Quest unlocked. Uh, 20 quest points. Getting close to a legendary chest. And where are we? Top, guys, 5,000 in the world. 4,432nd place in the world right now. Alright, let's go ahead and jump into another one over here. Things are pretty tough this early in the season. I know the season just reset last night, obviously. Um, but it's pretty tough that like, this early day one, even though I'm pretty close to level 13, I've been seeing a lot of, like, all max 13s, like five legendaries and stuff, like, gets a bit challenging, day one. But, uh, Golem is too expensive as an opener. Um, Baby Dragon isn't the most ideal opening play right here, so, I mean, Night Witch would have been better, or even Guards to split and to cycle, but, uh, alright guys, I got bored there, we are WLS, we're gonna go ahead and just drop a Golem right here, because this is getting super boring. I don't know how people can just wait that long. Like, that is boring, dudes. I have no idea how we can wait. I'm gonna poison that and get a Night Witch probably going on here. The Knight will do a bit of work to our tower, but I want to kind of go for the three. And I did say three, Crown Boys. We're making it happen today. Is the Executioner NATO us? We might do something like that. Prince here for this. Guards as well. Come on, baby, we can do it. 
Sweet baby Jesus, make it happen. This here, poison forest giant, as well as the graveyard. Does he kill us? He might. Three more seconds. We might three crown him though. Are we gonna three crown him? Go to his tower. I was doing work. Our tower's at 460. And what an intense couple of seconds there at the end, guys. Wow, we we are gonna three crown him right here. Booyah, baby. So after that intense stare up at the start there, we got a nasty three crown to finish things off. Wow. I didn't want to use the golem in single elixir because as you saw, he had a knight and graveyard ready. And if we did use golem single elixir, we wouldn't have been able to afford the defense there. And we would have probably died. So maybe that was decent in the end. But thank you, sir. Are we top 3,000 now? We are, guys. 3,964. And where are we locally? Are we 200 in the world? Although it's pretty messed up right now because look at this, guys. Somebody at right here. 4,000 is 17th in the world? How does that happen? I don't know, it's strange, but we're going to go all the way down here to find ourselves at dun da 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 200 in the world, and no, we're not. What? So, 4395 is the 200th place, and we are 4392. Oh, man. Rest in peace, all my dreams. But well, let's go ahead here and jump into another one against Mr. Nalik there. Good luck, sir. So, no pump in this deck, guys. Pretty interesting strategy with the beatdown and no pump, but I have no pump in here for a couple of reasons. First of all, obviously the pump was nerfed in the last update, meaning it takes more damage to spells. And also my pump is level 9, which kind of compounds the uh, the first change. And this is not looking good, guys. We're going to go Prince. He's going to go Knight. Our skeleton's up here. Goblins. Okay, we're going to kill that with the Princey. Um, Alright, I was kind of hoping the Mortar would lock onto that Knight Witch over there, but it didn't. So that's kind of sad. Sad indeed. Shad, indeed. So, ooh, Motorcycle, guys, is nasty sauce. Motorcycle Graveyard? Oh, no, please, not the Graveyard, my friend. No, no, no. No Graveyard. No Mortar. If we drop some Mortar here, we're boned. Um, I want to save for my Golem. Now, what should I do, guys? What would you do? Would you go Golem right lane? Like, if he does Mortar left lane, would you go Golem right lane? Or would you go Golem into the Mortar? Because if you go golem right lane, you want to support the golem with stuff, right? Gotta lock onto my golem? I do. But you also want to defend the opposite lane, right? Wait for it. Archer's going down. We're gonna go... Oh, he's got some goblins coming down. They're gonna go Night Witch for the Mortar here. The golem should explode, do some work. Is that the bat? There we go. Boom. Night Witch, get one hit to the tower, please. Bat's getting some work done. Alright, I mean, that's... We did a bit of work there, but... I mean, I think W Elixir is where we'll kind of have to get some work done with this deck, though. Give me some Elixir, please. I need my guards, please. Ooh, no, we're dead, guys. Guards, too late. Guards, too late. Yeah, the Grave is dead. The Double Wink in this is just a bit too fast for this expensive deck. Um, if it was W Elixir, we could have defended that, but single Elixir, it's just a bit too expensive to cycle. Um, so we might make a comeback here soon. I don't know. We'll find out shortly. Okay, we're going to go Golem here. I don't even care if the mortar locks onto our tower. I really don't even care about that because we're gonna go. We're gonna go for the three now. Weeds going for that three crown, guys. Don't worry about me. He's gonna go that. We're gonna go nightwish back here. Thank you. And when I say we're going for the three crown, I mean we're gonna try and go for the three crown. Because <laughs> all you can do is try, guys. Right? All you can do is try in life, and will it work? You never know. Uh, it appears it's not working. Prince, get in there, please. Golem right here. Prince locking out the tower. Not really enough, though. Close, but not close enough, boys. No, no, no. Like I said, guys, a bit a bit slow in the cycle there earlier on. Kind of cost us there, but... I mean, we did we did a bit of work. Um, I think maybe... Yeah, we did a bit of work. It's just that double win condition was nasty there. A bit too fast cycling for us earlier on. Um, but good luck to our friend there, Nalek. What could we have done differently there? I mean, the poison was a bit more than the guards were, but maybe just not using the Infernal Dragon for the knight and using the guards first for the graveyard and then taking care of the knight afterwards, that might have been a better choice for sure. All right, let's go ahead and jump into one more matchup over here against Mr. 13 there. Oh, no. Guys, we're going to be a 13 guaranteed by the end of this season, so I can stop saying that every battle. And I'll be Mr. 13. You guys can call me Mr. 13 in the comments. But pretty soon, I will be level 13. We're going to go Night Witch here for that giant, because we don't have anything else. And what else do we got here? I kind of want to go Infernal D to support this stuff. Uh, we can poison here sometime soon-ish. If we see any more value, we can poison. 
I was gonna say work to get musketeers us or anything like that. What do you got, sir? Okay, let's go guards. I wish with some work done. So does the Infernal D do. The Infernal D do, guys. What in the world? What what is Shane saying, Infernal D do? Golem right there. That'll support. Oh, we get a poison down here soonish. Soonish and the moonish. Double witch deck. I really want a poison here. Actually, yeah, I want a poison. If he's gonna fire with my Infernal Dragon, but the Infernal Dragon might look into that tower, please, and melt it. Melt it today. Melt it, schmelt it. Ooh, and the attack goes down. But the uh, Musketeer, the Musketeer, the Witch might die here. Hopefully to the Golem Explosion. Woo, she didn't die. Okay, so she's gonna start spawning some bats. I'm gonna go giant in front of this one health witch. Um, uh, maybe? Does he giant us? He do not. So we're gonna go Nightwitch back here. If it does, okay, I'm okay with that knight. If I were him, I would've went giant right-hand lane. Because we just used, of course, our uh, night witch there. But I'm going to get back to our poison here, ASAPage. ASAP in the ASAPage. Maybe they're doing some work to those bats and the skellies there. There we go. Can we get my golem down here soonish? Um, I think it's a bit late for the golem. We're going to go prince here, actually, for the uh, witch. Guards for the miner. Perfect prediction with the minor play there. Prince doing work to the witch. Ah, he's going down pretty quickly though. Okay, so let's see. Let's see here. The baby dragon is one of our best splash damage units. We gotta make very good use of it here. It's a bit easier now that we are W Elixir. We can afford like stuff, but let's go night witch here. I don't want to use the giant. One trick you guys can do with the golem deck is don't use your golem to go back here. If you have another slow unit, use that instead. But we're not gonna poison the tower. We're gonna poison both witches here, as well as that uh, mega. It'll just kind of help defend that. And we can save our elixir here for another golden counter push. Miner for the guards. I mean, guards for the miner. What? Why am I always backwards? I don't know, but we are. Okay, so we're going to kill that witch. Then we're going to get a golden on the counter push here. And our friend is going to go down quickly here, I do believe. Let's get our prince a rue down here to support that push. The prince isn't too useful in this particular battle with that witch being in there. But uh, he's going to charge in there and take her out in one shot, actually. So disregard what I just said, because he's strong. Poison this. Three crown incoming soon. Are we getting a three crown here? Prince charging. Zap going down. Golem hitting. And not quite, guys. 2,990 health left on our friend's tower up there. But uh, regardless, it was a pretty decent battle, I would dare say. Where are we now? 4392, guys. Wow. So we got the 29 trophies back that we just lost in that previous battle. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into another ladder matchup over here against Mr. Person with his name. Mr. Person with the name, guys. Let's put him to shame. So, uh, Nightwitch is a decent opener here. Baby Dragon, Golem, Poison, not so much. But we'll see what a friend... Okay, we're gonna go Nightwitch for that giant there. Uh-oh. My recording's still going. I heard something. Oh, knows. Who knows but what I knows. Sometimes I have the strangest commentary on this channel, I feel like, and you guys still watch me, so I thank you for that. But sometimes I have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, Poison will kill that bomber once he walks into it. He should die here shortly. He dead, son. Mmm, the wizard's dead as well, and the giant gets no hits off. So, good, good, good. So, with no pump in this deck, it does play a bit more aggressive than... No, not the two musketeers, boys. Anything but that. We're gonna go... We're gonna waste a bit of Alexa here and go this, this. The low musketeer on the right-hand side isn't as much of a threat as the two on the left-hand side, so... There's that. BBD will tank for the guards. The oh elite barbs in us. Is he is he elite barbs in us, guys? Oh no. Now we're gonna distract both barbarians. Maybe we can get a hit off there. So this can get nasty very quickly. We gotta keep the momentum going on with that golem, but unfortunately we can't get a golem in front of that night witch there. And we gotta save our poison next time for the musketeers. Okay. Voice crack. In case you guys haven't noticed, my voice is very sore today from all of the uh, New Year's cheering. Does he zap us? Uh, he do. So we're gonna go this. That'll kill that. And I wanna get some zappy action here, soon. Give me some zappy action. Bomber going down, Prince charging tower. Nightwitch might lock on, and by Nightwitch I do meet Infernal Dragon, and it does, indeed, lock on. And it will kill the bomber as well. Give me decent value. And it did say decent. Uh, let's go... Go them here. Where's your uh, musketeers, sir? I want to poison them. Baby? Uh, okay, we're gonna go Night Witch for this. Please use them all one lane. I would love that. Mm, that's not really all one lane, my friend. 
Okay, we're gonna do that. Stop him. They dead? They be they be dead, guys. They be dead. Oh, they be dead. Oh, they be dead. Uh, not much here for this. Can the uh, barbs there, please? We got some guards out for this uh giant here. Infernal Dragon might melt that tower. I hope he does, because we got no other choice here if the Infernal Dragon doesn't melt it. Uh, do we melt it? He do. He do indeed melt it. Prince here for this. Come on, Musketeer. Come on, Three Crown. You can do it for me. Prince Charging is at this. And the Three Crown victory is ours, guys. Thank you, sir. So that was pretty close, guys. Even though we don't have, like, a super hard counter for Musketeers, we have Poison. But often, Three Musketeer decks have stuff like Barbarians, Minion Horde, and Three Musketeers. Um, ideally, you want to have something like a Mega Knight or, like, just, like, nasty splash damage to kill his Musketeers. But that wasn't bad at all, guys. Not bad at all. So now we should finally be on top 200 local, guys. 4419 is our ranking. Where are we down here? We are... Dun, 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 dun. We, oh, yeah, nice, guys. 145th place. Day one of the new season, which basically means it means nothing. But here we are, 3,592 in the world. Let's go ahead here, guys, and finish off with one more battle because we did have a pretty quick battle earlier on when I edited out all the boring waiting around. So we shall see against our friend Julio up there. It's Julio, right? You say it's, it's, it's pronounced Julio, right? I don't know. I literally don't know. So I could just be a nub sounding like a nub. What does our friend, uh, uh, do? what does he do? I was gonna say, what does our friend does? Why can't I speak proper English, guys? Knight there, getting killed by my princey. Got a knight on the right, and, uh, some skills when I zap those. Prince, please charge that tower just once for Shaney, boy. You can do it. Oh, baby. Two, one hit off. So, what does he got, mortar? I think I might be a mortar, so I don't want to use the golden gist. Ooh, it's hog rider. Why? The switcheroo when I thought it was the mortar. So that's gonna be dead there. So if it, ooh, I mean it's either way. For what he was going back there, the hardware did work anyway. So tis okay, tis the season be okay, guys. Let's go night witch here to get this stuff going up. Like I said before, one trick you can do if you can't really afford defense after a golem is use your use your night witch first, then use the golem afterwards. Because they're the same. Uh, same movement speed, so it's the same Elixir build-up anyway, so. The cannon! Oh no, not the cannon! Not the cannon, my friend! Is that this? Oh, we should not zap that. Or should we have? The questions remain to be answered. The Night Witch is gonna kill that Knight. Ooh, that we should not have answered that, guys. We should not have answered that, uh, Skelly's there. Me and the gold I'm getting a bit of work done, but, um... I think at this point in the battle, our only, our only option is a 3-crown, right? Am I right or am I right? I think I'm right. I'm always right. So golem going on there. We got one minute to make something happen here, guys. One a minute. Go with this there. Um, what does he got? What does he got? What does he got? Okay, we got 54 seconds is long enough for a golem to get across the bridge. We're gonna go one final golem push here for the W. And this should, this should be enough time to get the W here, guys. I believe so. I do say, I do believe. And I do say that I do believe. What do you got for this fireball there? I was expecting that. Yes, I was. Yes, I do. And yes, I did. Poison this. There we go. I want to get a prince down here ASAP. Bat's getting in there. Knight dying here. He's going to zap that. The Infernal Dragon will lock on soon. Ish. Ooh, with the Golem getting there. Bat's doing work. He's going to right here for this. Um, got this. Come on, kill us up, please, faster. Lock on, Infernal Dragon, lock on, Prince. Baby Dragon locking on, Prince charging. There we go, tower's dead. We're gonna Prince go into that tower, Knight was going to that tower as well. Prince will charge, attack. Yes. Not bad. Golden going on here for the three crown here soon. We're gonna three, three crown a boy, Julio. Ooh, I think we do. We're gonna, we're gonna try at least. You, you can never say never try. Kill the uh, Hog Rider, please. Somebody? There we go. Night Witch out here spawning some bats. Uh, I'm gonna go Baby Dragon, Infernal Dragon here. 
And a prince as well. There we go. Playing a bit uh, reserved here, because in case he does a hog rider aggressive on us. Night Witch here. Prince charge, please. Prince charge. Oh. Come on. Uh... We're gonna get the draw, guys. We're gonna get the draw. Honestly, that wasn't too bad considering how uh, how far back we were at the beginning of the battle. I probably could have been a bit more aggressive for the three crown because he was playing pure defense there. But what I didn't want to happen was use all my elixir on on offense and have him drop a hog rider on my side of the arena, which will go to my tower and kill it faster than the golem can kill his towers. So I think that was the best way to play it at the end right there was playing super defensively. Let me know if you guys would have played differently and gone more aggressive for the three crown. But nonetheless, it was a decent battle. In the end, we managed to come back from an early one crown loss, and we actually came back for the draw, which I'm definitely okay with. But that will be the end of the video. Now, before I let you guys go, I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you guys watching right now for helping make last year such an amazing year for me. When we began 2017, we had about 15,000 subscribers. We finished that year with almost 150,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. But I just wanted to finish things off by saying thank you guys. Thank you all so much for all of your support, and I wish you all the very best in 2018, and I hope you all destroy whatever goals you have set for yourself in this new year. Now, speaking of goals, I want to do something pretty fun with you guys. What I want you to do is just leave a comment down below where you think we'll be at by the end of 2018, and then this time next year, I'm going to go ahead and look back at this video, read some of the comments, and see which ones actually came true. So let me know how many subscribers you'll think we'll have by the end of this year. But anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. Here is the deck one more time. If you want another chance to go ahead and copy it, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for some more Clash Royale content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one.